Good morning, guys. I'm thinking that this should be a big hint as what we're about to get into. Yesterday, at Kurt's waterfall hike, he met a couple who own this farm. And from what we understand, they rescue McCall's. So Kurt is messaging her to let her know we're here. We're gonna head in and see what this place is all about. So yesterday I was hiking down by the Cascadas and the Channel 6 Costa Rica news team was down there and there was this couple that was with them and I got to talking to them and they showed me the video of their farm with all these scarlet macaws. And so they invited us over here. We don't know what to expect. We don't know if it's a park or their house or what it is. But based on the video, there are tons of macaws here. So we're super excited for that. So we're about to see, I see a couple on the tree up there. So uh, let's go. There are all kinds of animals at this finca. I'm gonna start with this mama and baby pigs. Hi, buddy. How are you? You sure are pretty. So there are macaws and parrots. There are red macaws, blue macaws, green macaws. There's so many birds here. I hear Aurapendulas in the back. They're flying. I can't get pictures of them flying. I've tried. Look at them flying in right now. It's so crazy. They're everywhere. <laughs> All right, there was a lot of excitement going on. We almost missed the show. You can see them up there. They're driving these cattle up the, up the road, up the hill right here. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, good, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. No, they'll oh. take it out of your hands, Kurt. They'll take it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, buddy. <laughs> no. Uh oh. There you go. <laughs> Do the one over the head again. Oh, he's going to come get some. <laughs> Today, my friends are coming. My yeah. friends and you, but no all people pay for uh, Some friends are coming. Like, Today, my like friends are coming. My yeah. friends and you, 
but no all people can come. Uh, Some friends come. So only like sort of like private type thing. Mm -hmm. Private. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, this place but is But they're terrible. flying so far and they come. Every oh, so they come. <laughs> Alvaro start with this project maybe 25 years ago 25 uh -huh. years ago and alvaro's is your husband uh -huh. okay and the macau was in a houses the government bring to him the okay Macaus. he put a artificial nest in all macaus born here ah. but we have problems because uh, the green and the red macaw, the scarlet and the, the green bandage, macaw, yeah. uh -huh, uh, mix it and we have a lot of hybrids. A mix, uh -huh. I saw those. The hybrid was out, uh -huh. but the government came here and said no more hybrids, all need to be in a cage and they are for, into uh -huh. the cage for all the life. Uh -huh. And Alvaro don't like that. Oh. And the government said, if we have more hybrids out, all the macaws, the scarlet and the green, can be into the cage too. And Alvaro don't want that. No. Because he loves oh. when they are flying, oh, put some beautiful. food, and we can give peanuts. Yes. But they love peanuts. And Alvaro. Put these plants because uh -huh. this is their natural uh -huh. food. And the others too, uh, mamones, nances, oh. because I don't know how to say in English. Mamones, chinos is other food. Nances is other food, and they eat that. Okay. This is nances. Uh, oh, nances. So nances? they're out there okay. eating uh -huh. them. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is nances. This is good. So we're parked at this amazing crazy cool farm so you're gonna hear roosters and chickens and scarlet macaws and all kinds of crazy stuff but it is lunchtime in the van kurt has whipped us up an amazing lunch and i wanted to give you guys an update on the whole weight loss so i could get my knee replacement thing not a ton of details but kurt has been feeding us extremely healthy food and extremely good food because he is an amazing cook and today is no exception. I'm gonna show you what we're having for lunch in just a minute. But we are about halfway, right? Between the first doctor's appointment and when it's time to get the surgery. I gotta lose 60 pounds and this morning I was down 31 pounds. So I'm a little over halfway, well on the way to meeting the goal. So that is the update. Thank you so much for the encouragement. I love it, it's wonderful. Y'all have been amazing and incredibly supportive. So thank you. Now. Let's see what's for lunch. All right, Kurt has made us a salad with heart of palm, chickpeas, tomatoes, apple, cucumber, basil, and probably a little bit of vinegar and some salt and pepper. And lime. And lime, we love lime juice. And one little piece of ham for me. So this is my lunch, it is tasty. It is a giant bowl of healthiness. It is also good. Thank you, Curdy. Cheers, guys. All right, this is our very first time grinding coffee. If you'll remember back in Guatemala, we went to that wonderful little family's home, little small coffee farmer. Freddy. Freddy's Cafe. Gave us some coffee. We us... haven't been able to drink it yet. Yeah. So we finally, when Kurt went home for his vaccine, came back with a little handheld coffee grinder because in a van you can't get all the fancy big appliances. What's going on over there, Kurt? Welcome to the gun show. I'm getting a workout here. This grinder is like something else, but I am getting some nice little grounds. So... We have learned. They're still like, it's still like a little work. It's like a morning workout for your coffee. Well, we'll see if it tastes better than the the coffee we had yesterday from the normal grocery store, right? Yeah, 100%. Look at that. I think that's enough, right? We'll have to see. I do it by spoonfuls, but we'll see. All right. 
pour it in our camping French press. Looks good. Mmm, smells delicious. You want to smell it? Oh, I wish y'all could smell it. I can smell it from here. Well, it goes in our new French press. And voila. There you go. Pour some hot water in and we got some coffee. So this finca, it's a dairy farm, probably some other farming too. Um, all sorts of animals here, tons of farm animals, all kinds of cool little creatures. And this fenced in area you see right here is where people will bring them injured birds or little rodents or little pets that need some help getting better, something happened to them. So they take care of them, they feed them, they have workers that their only job is to take care of these little animals that have had a rough time out in the wild. The goal, of course, is to let them go back out into the wild. So that is pretty amazing. And they're just good people. I mean, and everyone here, when they walk by the van and they see the kitty cats, you can tell their face just lights up. They love animals here. They take really good care of them. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in I've got to tell you guys, I cannot stop smiling. There's monkeys running around in the trees everywhere. There's scarlet macaws and green macaws just kind of flying around. They're all squawking and making noise. There's so much energy. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. So that little monkey right there, he's got some food, but it's not enough for him to grab one handful. He's trying to grab it all. This one must be the big one.
so I got up this morning come up here and check this place out uh, I thought maybe the monkeys only came out here at night but the little cappuccino monkeys are out here playing around and I love it when these guys stand up <laughs> But there's monkeys everywhere. You're just running around out here playing. So that one over there is playing with their tail. Grabbing the other one's tail. I can't stand it. This is insane. The baby. Back there in the back, they're rocking. So if I'm being honest, this is by far the best monkey experience with the little cappuccinos I've ever had. By far, nothing close. Second would be Manuel Antonio years ago. Third, Punta Uva. And then all of a sudden, we have the interaction with the macaws, which I've never experienced anything like that. Not even close to compare it to. Kurt says all the time, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And we weren't good when we found this camp spot. We were lucky. What an amazing place. We were so overwhelmed or too much stimulation with all these birds. I don't know how well we've logged this place, but it is fantastic. I mean, there's literally macaws just flying around, parrots. It's a rescue place, guys. And when they get better, he lets them go, but they stay. He's got a whole field planted of the trees they like to eat. So they're free, but this is their home. And the couple that owns and runs this place. How great are they, Curdy? Oh, they're amazing. They opened up their home and this beautiful place for us, which, I mean, and they, they rolled out the red carpet. The other night we were down by the river and I was up visiting with them and they brought some food. He followed me down, he chased me down and said, here, I have some food and some bananas and some sausage. I mean, they're just such amazing people. And this place is like none we've ever seen. The monkey experience and the macaw experience are second to none. Yeah, I mean, it was truly, truly a diamond in the rough. If you're in Costa Rica, you can look this place up on Facebook. We'll put a link to it in the description. Right now, they're not technically open, COVID and that kind of stuff. 
So before you come here, you would want to reach out on the Facebook page. But it is worth the trip up into these beautiful mountains. I think this place is pretty exclusive and it's tough to get in. So yeah. you definitely want to message them and contact. If you pull up here, I almost guarantee you won't get in. Yeah. You're going to have to talk to them. And that's the way. And get maybe in. get lucky like we did. Get lucky. Yeah, because that's what happened here. So I'm sorry if we did not vlog this place enough when we first got here. But as you're seeing right now, there was just so much to see and look at and do and experience. And I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite campsites so far. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.